Welcome to Veladyne LiDAR's virtual CES 2022 experience. I'm Jane Maynard, Veladyne LiDAR's Senior Manager of Communications. With our company's commitment to safety paramount, Veladyne made the decision to not participate in person at CES 2022 due to the surge of COVID-19 infection rates. We want to thank everyone for their flexibility and extend our well wishes of health and safety to all in the new year. In lieu of our in-person booth experience, we are providing our partners' presentations in a virtual format here on Velodyne LiDAR's YouTube channel. I am happy to introduce you to Twinny. Twinny develops and manufactures indoor and outdoor AI autonomous driving robots. Twinny's product family includes the Nargo series, a fully autonomous freight robot that carries heavy goods while following a person in, a, in many types of environments, including retail, warehouses, and more. Jesslyn Park, Department Manager and Director for Twinny, will now present to us. Thank you, Jesslyn. Hi, thank you. All right. Twinny is a company that specializes in autonomous mobile robot and platform. Um, next. Give me more. But this is, okay. Twinny was founded back in 2015 by two twin brothers, and we have closed the Series B investment uh, in last July, and it gave us total approximately figure about like 23 million. So one of our um, the CEO has fund and financial management background from the Korean government agency, and the other has twin brother. Uh, the other twin brother has a major in autonomous mobile robot uh, from the KAIST, which is MIT of Korea. So you, if you look at the table on the right side, it shows our key personnel, and more than one third of employees are assigned for the R&D team, and majority of them are from KAIST, and which is MIT of Korea. Oh, okay, localization. Localization is the most critical factor in autonomous driving. Operating autonomous mobility in, in the outdoor setting is relatively clear as there's a GPS to rely on. However, operating autonomous mobile robot in indoor setting requires certain technologies. And so there are two types of technologies uh, to carry out this uh, self-localization. The first is to use infrastructure such as a marker, beacon, or, or an UWB. The second option is to performing um, uh, is performing self localization using the install sensor. So most of the robot company use the um, okay operation with the infrastructure base has a limitation, and there will be an increase in initial setting of cost and proportional to the size in space. And also, there will be a higher chances of system failure uh, with the increase in size. And if and the, if the entire operation has to be seized if until the um, where if the um, system get, has a failure, um, most of the robot company uses two D lidar sensor. However, there's also there's a limitation in performing self localization using just a two dimensional location data. In order for robot to recognize its own location, many walls and ceilings and the corner feature has to be recognized. So just imagine robots on are being deployed in the factory outlet during the sales season. Data received with the 2D LiDAR sensor is not sufficient uh, to recognize its own location, to navigate very freely. The same applies to um, like when toddler tried to find a way when there are a lot of people around him or her. It's impossible, right? So the 3D LiDAR sensor captures more data as if a human received the environmental data with own human eyes. However, there will be more like there will be influx of information, including various types of noises. Twinny develop our own algorithm to filter out unnecessary information in real time manner, which makes our AMR technology reliable and special. Of course, oh, and, and of course, because we, we are using the uh, Velodyne 16 channel lighter sensor. So in short, Twinny's robot can be deployed in large and complex environment, in indoor and outdoor environments without environmental restriction. And then we have a technology which, which enable robot to be deployed in the indoor and outdoor environments. Also, in order, in order to connect with the elevator, protocol development has been completed with, the, with the, our major elevator companies in Korea. So as you can see in this video, let me show you the video clip first. 
as you can see in the video clip, the robot is able to take an elevator to the automatic door very freely. And TAF, so we have developed a TAF, uh, which is a Twinies autonomous robot platform to support increased scalability of a robot platform, like scalability of robots. So TAF allow hardware developer who wants to develop their own autonomous mobile robot. Um, then we provide the autonomous mobile robot software for them. And for the software developer who wants to develop their own autonomous mobile robot software, we open an API solution for them to make their own autonomous mobile robot software. Right. Here's our, uh, these are our uh, product lineup and the, and these are the first two sections. This, these are the target falling robot series and the behind these are the autonomous mobile robots series, which can cover various industry without environmental restriction. So for the target following robot, just, just by pressing a button, a robot recognizes a target and it follows. So these are the market that we are serving currently with the um, with our current product, like logic logic center, factory, hospital, hotel, and office. With, the, uh, with this 3D LiDAR sensor. Right, Logic Center, um, pickers spend 75% of their time to travel within the Logic Center to pick the item. So this is a very huge amount of resources are spent for the picking process. So there are two ways uh, to tackle this problem. One is to use John picking methods and the other is to use boost to person method. Zone picking method is like robot travels between the zone while the pickers while pickers uh, stay in within the assigned zone, and the method um, as the method is carried out using autonomous mobile robot, there's no impact when there's a system failure happen. However, good person method carried out with the infrastructure basis it involves high in setting of costs and entire system has to be seized with the system failure. So the 20, we choose a zone picking method and, and um, for the picking robot and the picking, this picking robot will be released with the, in, in July uh, this year. And OSHA statistics uh, indicates that there are roughly 85 forklift fatalities and 34,900 serious injury every year. So this issue can be resolved by the introduction of autonomous mobile robot, accident-free pallet, pallet delivery by minimizing minimize using um, a forklift and free of manpower for more productive work rather than the repetitive carrying task. So these are the rough ROI calculation compared to manpower introduction versus robot introductions. Investment can be recovered within four months of time, and there will be a huge cost reduction compared using manpower. And these are our clients and partners. It includes hospital, factory, office, logic centers, and school. Let me show you this video. Um, Okay, this first video sh a clip shows stable performance in the large and complex, complex environment. This is National Hospital in Korea. As you can see in this video, um, in this video, there are a lot of people passing through the corridor, and there are slopes around the path that the robot is taking. So, however, it, it performs uh, uh, its task very well. It's, uh, it's, it, it's due to the because we are using the uh, 3D LiDAR sensor and, and there are like very other types of sensor like a 2D LiDAR sensor, bump up sensor and ultrasonic sensor for the safety. So, all right. And the second video clip. And the second video clip shows a robot deployment at a factory. And as you can see, many boxes, boxes are filed piled up and those boxes will disappear next day. So if the robot only used 2D LiDAR sensor, it is not possible to locate one's location uh, with the changes in environment. However, there's no problem with the Twinis robot solution as we are using a 3D LiDAR sensor. Right. Oh, sorry. So the third video clip shows a pallet lifting AMR 
and it can collaborate uh, with working with the forklift. And the last one, this is the shows the target following robot. Just by pressing a button, the robot start recognizing target and in just a second by uh, combining data such as a color, shape, size, and sounds. And the robot is able to perform stably even in the change in lighting condition. Yeah. And these are the new market that we are in and we are trying to go in. Parcel delivery, FMB delivery office and residence. These are the, um, there are many like social issues exist in South Korea with the parcel delivery. And this is the current way of doing it. Like Korea guy like has to um, deliver to every doorstep. It takes a lot of time. And it requires lots of energy and manpower to deliver parcel to every doorstep. That's that. This is how we can Sort. This is a solution that the Twini is trying to introduce to the market. So Korea guys simply put the parcel to this automatic locker system and the walk away, and the and the robot performs a delivery uh, to the every door step. So we have completed the prototype parcel delivery service um, uh, with the Korea Post already. And here is the very prototype one. And the next year we will be releasing the upgraded version. So they load the parcel to the storage and they're requesting a robot and the robot docking to the station. And then automatic, yeah, it will, the robot is waiting there and then the parcel will be carried by the robot. Yeah, then you just collect it and then you send the robot back. All right, this is the system we are trying to introduce next, uh, this year, this August. So the courier guys, when they, they come, they just drop every boxes into this automatic uh, loading, uh, this uh, storage. So we have the information which uh, which household to be delivered. So the robot will go to uh, dock, um, ro robot will take this uh, goods and then deliver to the every doorstep by taking elevator and go pass through the, the automatic uh, doors. So we are operating indoor delivery service in high-rise building and currently about 15 to 20 orders are being carried out per day for to total like three floors. And now it's, we, will, um, we are expanding floors to serve more customer and you will be uh, deployed in the more office building as well. Right. And we also have um, operate pilot outdoor FMB delivery testing at Sejong Central Park in Korea. Uh, we co-develop connection with the food, a public food delivery app like the Uber uh, with the robot delivery method to engage actual cu customer. So this is uh, how you do it. This is, so he's acting as a um, uh, shop person. So you can order through the like a, a public delivery app, like a Uber app, and then it will receive. There's a when you make the payment, there's other uh, after you making a payment, you can choose a delivery method. Uh, then you choose the uh, robot delivered by delivered by robot. Then the robot will be assigned and then complete the task. Right, 
and this is the I want to show you like there are a lot of people around him like uh, surrounded by the the many people but still the self-localization is, is is working and perfectly fine so we use for the outdoor setting we use the treated lidar sensor as a main sensor and the gps as a support supportive sensor yeah thank you this is the uh the product line that we have and the technology we have so thank you for your um uh, thank you for giving me a chance to introduce my company thank you very much